Before we start right now. Oh boy, do we have an exciting video for you guys. Welcome back. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Fourth of July was last week. Hope everyone still got all their fingers and everything attached. I think, did I say that in the other video? Do you still have yours? I do, except for this. <laughs> in my thumb, too. Gets them every time. All right. Um, we're up here, Nash's Speed Performance. We're going to talk about turbos a little bit. Um, we're going to talk today really quick on well, single turbo versus twin turbos, because I used to be a single turbo guy, and now I'm going to uh, twins a lot. I mean, I, what, 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 Dave's, Dave's behind the selfie cam, selfie cam. I like single turbos. I'm now a bigger fan of twins. Slick Rick has done that to me, but I got one badass single turbo there. We have a bunch of turbos here and I got some twins uh, in my office and we're going to talk a little bit of the difference of that. But before we get started, I do want to let you guys know <laughs> it's storm work Stormworks season. Stormworks popping off right now. Hold, hold please. John Doc Recovery. This is John. I have four guys in Houston, right outside of Houston. They're ready to go do this storm. Just let me know. I'll let you know that they, they, they said they're available. They all have fuel cells. They got five gallon buckets. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get them activated right now? Uh, well, hey, no, I just said I had guys. I said they could go anywhere. <laughs> all right, well, he, I just know there's these five guys I saw on Facebook. They live in Texas. <laughs> all right, well, if you can, check with them and get back with me, all right? No, but just let me know. So they're activated? Yeah, they're activated. Oh, well, I got this guy from Raleigh. He can go now. <laughs> Just stand down, all right? Stand down. Get those buckets hit the road, all my right, boy. guys. First of all, if you guys are interested in storm work, hurricane season's popping off. We have some great opportunities. Uh, that was actually Chris giving me a hard time. Uh, but uh, John at John Doc Recovery dot com is a good email you can get to me and i can disperse you to the people if you guys have a three-quarter ton truck uh and a pinnel hitch that's really all the the initial requirements that you will need we have stuff to get you up and running make sure you like it and if you do like it uh, you know then most guys go and get their whole custom fit out and everything like that but it's a great opportunity uh, i'm very proud to say that uh, jdr we've been operating for like five years now with like one or two percent turnover so extremely low turnover which makes me proud and everyone does a great job and um it's a great money making opportunity awesome side gig for sure so if you guys are interested um please let me know uh, john at john dot com send me an email uh interested in storm work and please attach your phone number and then we can then reach out to you Besides that, Nasty Speed Performance, we are in the showroom. We have our grand opening is going to be on the 20th. We're going to have a practice tree shootout. Yes, we did that once before. There will be money to be had. We are doing a cash payout on that. Uh, we are having a car show as well. There will be food on property. We'll be selling stuff uh, at a, a very discounted price for the grand opening. And then we'll also have our Nasty Speed and Performance Platinum membership available starting the 20th. I know what you guys are saying. What's the Platinum membership? Oh, we have a customer here. Hey, hey, are you interested in the uh, NASA Speed Performance membership? I am a member. Oh, you are a member? Yeah, I got this for half price. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing a, uh, a membership. What that membership is, it's going to be $69 a month uh, that you guys are going to then have access to, uh, I'd say, uh, parts and insight that, that most people uh, don't have. And, like, for example, right here, we got, like, this TDI Turbo. Uh, we're going to offer stuff at an exclusive membership price. So this TDI Turbo, let's say it retails for $1,900. Uh, through the membership and the membership pricing, you guys will get this turbo for $1,600. Pretty good savings, right? Right there, that pays for how many months? I can't do math. How many months is that? That's like three months. Three months of savings. Yeah, three, three or four months. Well, I was more. just looking at the price on this full section power 16 volt battery here. It's normally going to be twelve hundred bucks, but with the discount, it's a thousand bucks, two hundred dollars off. Yeah, that's two and a half, just about three months of. Yeah. So just right then there, if you guys are racing, if you guys are building a car, it's going to be a great opportunity for you guys to save money in the long run. Fuel is another big thing. We have membership pricing for the fuel. So, for example, the C twenty five right here is for five gallons. It's a hundred and sixty dollars. The membership pricing on that. I don't uh -oh. have I don't uh -oh. have this John, offhand. I'm John. gonna I'm gonna go with uh it, it's rip. probably a thirty dollar savings, right? Mm -hmm. So if you save thirty dollars, you buy ten gallons, your membership's paid for for that month. That's what we're talking about. Uh, it, it's fuel, 
It's oil, it's parts, Scarlet Solution sensors. Look at all these sensors. Huge, huge, huge opportunity to save some money. These are already very cost effective, but you will get our membership pricing as well. So everything you see in the store here, pretty much anything on Summit, um, any real, I mean, we're, we're really up with most all aftermarket parts, strange engineering. If you guys need axles, you guys need brakes, you guys need third members, huge discounts on that. TDI Force Induction Turbos, huge discounts on that. Alliance Racewear, uh, fire suits, gloves, shoes, huge discounts on that. So it is a great opportunity. Uh, and then really, once we get everything ramped up, we are going to add more stuff uh, to the membership uh, with having uh, a full-time tech support line. Uh, and not tech support like, hey, I'm at... Um, I'm at the racetrack, my Holly's not working, not tech support like that, but tech support isn't like, hey, what turbo do I get for my car? You know, answer the questions that a lot of people ask me, we're gonna be able to answer for you and then be able to get you what you need at a discount. So uh, it's a really good opportunity. Uh, VP Fuels, uh, Schaefer's Oil, uh, Force Inductions Turbo, Strange Engineering, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Scarlet Solutions, QA1. Uh, we have some custom carbon fiber stuff that you guys can only get through Nasty Speed and Performance. Uh, so this stuff right here, yeah, we have nice. quarter glass. This is like some of the nicest quarter glass that you'll ever find really uh, nice. for door cars, or sorry, for trunk cars and for hatches. So um, those are Fox Buy stuff. But yeah, that's going to be huge. It launches on the 20th, so we're going to have a hotline that you guys can call if you guys are interested or you can message the Facebook page Nasty Speed and Performance Facebook and uh, we'll be able to get you signed up. Here's our, our number one salesman, Chris. What do you sell? What do I sell? Yeah. Air and opportunity. Damn. Force air. The, the whole point of the membership is for it to pay for itself. Uh, it's extended to tires, RC components, wheels, race tech seats. Uh, we get race tech belts. Alliance has belts. I mean there's just a, a number of a number of stuff that Wilson manifolds. Um, we have some BTR stuff here as well. All the BTR uh, line. TCAM performance on top of that. So any machine work or anything through TCAM performance, we do it through Nasty Speed Performance. We can get you a, a preferred timeline and a preferred price. So. And you'll get preferred pricing on 60 pass rods too. Ooh. Yeah. Like you, you can being being part of the membership that like some of our used parts you'll get first dibs on. Because this right here. For Plenty someone. good for a 450 car. Oh, yeah. You can all run right that on. for another another 10 years probably. Um, all right. Well, enough about that stuff. Oh, and Brown and Miller. Can't forget Brown and Miller. We got the Brown and Miller stuff. Uh, and that is going to be a, a, an off uh, a service that we offer. The Brown and Miller stuff is if you are a member, you can bring your car here and we will plummet. We will, you know, obviously you still got to buy the, the Brown and Miller stuff. But that is a service that we provide because a lot of people inquire about the Brown and Miller stuff. Uh, but we are going to take on like some minor customer work only if you're a member. Uh, M&M shifters and trans coolers as well. Is that what you wanted to say? I was no, reading your mind. Racetronics. Oh, Racetronics. Yeah, oh, yeah. Racetronics. Racetronics. How did I forget that? Oh, how did you forget that? They're do, they, they, are, they are our lead sponsor on our shop build, our shop truck build. Yes. So shout out to Racetronics. Uh, they have uh, an awesome lineup of fitting. So anything, all of anything on the Racetronics catalog, you guys are going to be able to get at a discount. So we're going to talk real quick about turbos to, I guess, hey, uh, throw some information yeah. in your face. On the, is this just a, a crazy hectic video? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. I love it. All right, Nova guy. All right, so uh, turbos. This here is what is this, Chris? You talking about this turbo while I get the other one? Oh, uh, it's a uh, it's a Jose. It kissed the wall. It's, it it's kissed the wall, but it still spins. Yeah. But we want to make sure it's right before yeah, we put sure. it on. All right. So here's the question. That's cute. <laughs> that eat that one. I love talking about turbos because I know a little bit about them. Um, and I like sharing some information with you guys. So uh, this is a Garrett chassis. Uh, it's an S. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, stuttered. sorry. Like, like like literally. This is GT55 base. So Garrett base GT55 turbo. Uh, this is very common for. I mean, we have an 85 millimeter in this, all the way up to uh, the 114. They they kind of modified a little bit to go to the 122 millimeter. Uh, I haven't, other than the Hearts Turbo, we haven't gone over really anything with like the, the 110 is the largest that it goes. So single turbo, this is like the gold standard for single turbo stuff. Uh, the large frame precision stuff's really died off because they're able to make more power, better, uh, more efficient, um, not have spool up issues uh, than like the 118 or like the old 106. So uh, this is like the gold standard. This one here is going to go back to Jose at Force Inductions. It wasn't a wreck, so you can see it's got some damage on the front right here. Everything still spins good, but it looks like some stuff was like welded up. Um, 
and and there's a, like a nick on the blade that we're really want to just make sure everything's good. Also, it has a uh, four inch V band just welded to it, which is kind of odd because uh, that is a built in V band. So if you can see the lip right here, that's the female side of a V band. So uh, the outlet of the turbo is not four inch, but Wade at Race Part Solutions sells the correct adapter. Where so you just say, hey Wade. This is John, or you can call up Nasty Speed and Performance and we'll get it directly for you. Uh, Race Part Solutions is another one up with Nasty Speed and Performance. Say, hey Wade, uh, I need a GT55 compressor cover to 4 inch outlet. And it is a V-band with an O-ring that fits in here perfect. And then it has the receiver for a 4 inch aluminum tube. This is not the correct way to do it. So don't do this because... The main thing is, if you do have an issue with the turbo, you would ever want to change the turbo, you want to go class racing and put a smaller turbo on there your new turbo won't fit. The new turbo will be set up for this factory V-band and you're either going to have to weld this BS onto it or redo the charge pipe. So what we did was we, we redid the charge pipe so if we ever change turbos, let's say we're running Super Street and it's 85 millimeter uh, turbo limit and then halfway through the season they make a rule change because the turbos are getting outrun and they say, all right, 88 millimeter, well, now you have to change your turbo. You'd have to mess up another turbo and cover. So we're going to send this back to Jose at Force Inductions and get it looked at because we do plan to put this on another car, right? This is what, 100, yes. 106 millimeter right here. Uh, journal bearing. So uh, the ball bearing stuff looks a little bit, little bit different in here. Uh, we really run the billet stuff at this point if we're going a dual ball bearing, but there's nothing wrong with the journal bearing. The journal bearing works great. Uh, this turbo right here is something like we went 412 on the 98 millimeter pretty much the same thing as this. Uh, so it is a badass turbo. I recommend, so So I guess the, the whole point of this video is, when do you go twins and when do you stay with a single turbo? Uh, I think, personally, one is your horsepower goal. That's a, a big factor. How much power do you want to make? How fast do you want to go? That's what I ask people when they, they want a turbo. You don't give someone a 106 millimeter GT55 turbo if they want to go and make 1200 horsepower and drive around in the street. It's not, the, not what they want. Will this do it? Yeah, no problem but it's not what they want. How much horsepower you want to make, how fast you want to go, what's your engine, what fuel, what compression. All that's going to play a factor um, in what turbo you're going with, along with like the converter, but I don't really get too much into that because the converter is a factor that can be changed. You're not going to change your compression to, to meet your turbo, but you can change your stator to meet your turbo. So uh, any of the small block stuff, I like the single turbo stuff. Um, it works good. You can make, I mean, at this point with how badass the turbos are, you can just make really as much power as you want. Um, this is a smaller twin turbo, obviously. This is S300 chassis. This is not the exact same turbo that was on Hank. We went 490s with it. Uh, it's like a 62 millimeter. Uh, it is journal bearing S300 chassis, so it has its own specific flange. It uses a T4 flange. Um, they sell some with the V-band style. Mm -hmm. uh, this, is, this is a solid turbo. Two of these right here, surprisingly i made 1600 crank with and you could do that on based off fuel consumption um so i guess when do you go when do you go twins and when do you go uh single so again what do you how much power you make and what are you doing with it uh driving on the street 408 cubic inch i wanted something that was going to be snappy responsive super enjoyable to drive i went with the twins they're going to spool a little bit faster because they're both so small if i put a big single on it it was going to be lazy. Chris, remember when driving the, the old bad apple on the street? How, oh, how it, was, it was brutal. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Like floor it, and you could pop a six-pack, have them down before it made any boost. That's There's nope. a video of that. If you go way back. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I don't know who were we giving a ride to. And the, uh, at the old shop, Paul, I think his the name kid, was. The kid, yeah. Yep. LS Nasty Paul. LS Nasty Paul, yeah. It was the, the, the single turbo is great for the race application, but for the street driving, the twins do a whole lot better, so I favor the twins. Um, the single turbo stuff, any small block stuff, I'm good with the single turbo. Once I get into the big box stuff, I favor the twins like you guys saw we just put on Slick Rick. And the, and the main reason being is this. A lot of people, I, I don't really think think about it. Um, so if you're running a single turbo, let's say you're, you're, you're a large frame uh, precision or you're a uh, GT55 turbo just like this and you're running a 540 inch big block all of that exhaust pressure and everything through that big block has to exit this five inch hole mm -hmm. uh, where when you go to twins obviously you double the size uh, so whether you go twin gt55 or twin s400 it just evacuates that back pressure so that's a big factor to me i answer the question hey what's better single or twins well you got a big ass motor that's going to move a lot of air you probably need a twin turbo setup if you got a small block that you're going to drive around 
um, on the street that you want something where you're not worried about max effort, I stick with the twins, right? But if you got a small block where you want to go really fast and you want to maximize the power and you're not worried about spooling on the street, the single is the way to go. So there's a lot of different factors. We, we're going to be able to answer a lot of those questions for people um, through the Nasty Speed and Performance membership when people call up and ask. And, you know, it is something that the, there's a lot of people out there that put the wrong turbo on there. I just had someone come in the other day. We just sold them a um, 91 millimeter S400 turbo. They had a 76 on there. And they said, well, my buddy told me to put this Borg Warner turbo on there. All turbos are not built the same. All turbos are not really meant for, there's, there's not one turbo for every combo that's great. We, at, we're at the point in the game where you come in here and you tell us exactly what you're trying to do, we can get you the exact turbo for that. There's different options in backside. There's different off, options in the front side. If you want something cheated up that's got the grooves cut in it, we can do all that stuff. You dream it up, we can do it. Uh, and it's just putting people in the right turbo that really makes a combination shine. So what's better, single or twins? All out, max effort, big motor, all billet shit, 481X Hemi. I say twin turbos all day. You can't beat it. Um, small block stuff, a, a single turbo, it's pretty tough to beat on a small block. Street driving, you kind of get in that area where, you know, they both have their fact, they're, 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 they both shine in certain areas. Um, I like street driving on the twin turbo setup. That's just my opinion. Chris, what's your, what do you like? You like single or twins? Your vet's got twins on it. Yeah, it's uh, spool times and drivability and uh, power now is a, twins are the way to go, especially for a street strip kind yeah. of combination. But like you can make overall bigger and larger horsepower out of a single, I believe, in the small block applications yep. versus where you end up coming up with a issue with your size of twins for streetability. Yeah. When it comes to streetability. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so when it goes one way or the other, but the the twins are definitely much more street friendly, I believe. Yep. Yep. And then when you get into the big stuff, it's not really is one better than the other. It's what the motor needs. You got to move a bunch of air out the motor. Mm -hmm. It's tough to do it with a single turbo. You guys saw it with the hearts, and that's where we ran into an issue. The hearts turbo is good. It's got its place, but on a motor that moves that much, a cylinder head that flows that much, 570 some cubic inches, it could not get all the air out of that. It was a five point five and three quarter inch hole. It couldn't evacuate all the air. So um, those are all some things you guys got to think about. Uh, they both have their place. I like them both. I mean, hell, we need to put three turbos on um, on something soon. Just think about that. Three turbos. All right, that's going to wrap it up, guys. First link in the description below is going to be to the Nasty Speed and Performance event page. Check them out. Please follow that page. And if you guys have any other questions, um, you know, comment down below and we'll get you right. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next upload.